Drew here, Frisco Tennis Training. Today we will be replacing the grommets and the bumper guard on this Head Radical MPA. Uh, we don't have to replace the grommets and bumper guard often, but if you love your racket and want to keep it, and the grommets, the pieces of plastic that hold the string, or the bumper guard, this piece of plastic that protects the frame, if those wear at all, you will need to replace those. Uh, you can get these at most tennis online retailers for like eight to fifteen dollars, so it's not too expensive, but it's something you do need to do if you want to continue to use that same racket. It's pretty straightforward and I'll show you how it's done. When we replace the grommets on a racket, we obviously need our racket, the grommets that you are going to replace that with, and you can find that online just by searching your racket model. You need an owl that we're going to use, needle nose pliers, and a little hidden trick uh, that I have is using a blow dryer. We're actually going to use the heat to uh, to uh, help put these in. So once we take them out of the package, you can just line them up, make sure you have the right ones, and once you line them up, uh, you're ready to go. So what you want to do is, kind of, you can use the butt end of the owl or something that's just uh, dense to sort of push out uh, the grommets, uh, and then you can just pull from the outside. Uh, the throat usually comes out pretty easy. Um, but it can be a little bit tough, the ones that are wedged in, the ones that maybe have some wear and tear and they uh, uh, can be tough to get out. But don't worry, as long as you don't touch uh, the frame with the needle nose pliers, just make sure you're always touching the grommets, you'll be fine. Uh, you can just use the owl or uh, the blunt end of uh, one of your tools to kind of push from the inside and push out. And that usually gives you enough room to pull with those pliers. So you can kind of continue doing that the entire way. Uh, you don't want to force it, just make sure you use the blunt end, blunt end of the tool to push out the grommet and then you can take out uh, take out the grommets using the needle nose pliers. And Yeah, don't force it, but uh, it will take a little bit of strength as you, uh, as you pull out those grommets, but uh, it, it's pretty straightforward. When you get to the bumper guard, it's the exact same thing. Uh, you just want to continue going grommet by grommet. Uh, some come out easier than others, but yeah, just go grommet by grommet. Don't force it, and uh, just use your pliers to continue down the, the path of each grommet as you work your way down. I usually go start at the throat, which is a pretty easy one to get out, and uh, take out uh, the lower grommets, and then save the bumper guard for last. Now that we have all the grommets out, what I usually do is take a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a paper towel to clean the racket frame. It's a good time to clean the racket because we're going to be putting new grommets and new strings on the racket. So you want to get that racket looking as good as new. Putting in the throat grommets is usually the easiest part. Those go in easy. And the little trick that I have is using a hot blow dryer to soften the grommets. Uh, it's not necessary to do it, but I found it makes it a little bit easier uh, to work with. Uh, if you get some heat on the grommets, they get a little softer and it gets a little easier to pop in to place. You want to use your hands to sort of work uh, each grommet. The hands can start the, the pla uh, placement of the grommets, but you're going to eventually need an awl on those. But the hand is a good way to, to get it started and get it lined up. As you go grommet by grommet with the awl, you should hear them pop into place. Uh, you definitely want to see a clear grommet on the outside and on the outside of the frame you do not want it to be uh, you want it to be contoured to the racket frame in other words you don't want it sticking out and to think you're, you're good to go you need to see the grommet on the other side clearly and you want it to be smooth on the outside of the racket again you don't want to force it but you will have to kind of go back and forth good motion is once you put the awl in the grommet just to kind of uh, gently go back and forth as, as you work the new grommet Again, I like to put some hot air on the grommet to soften it up, and that definitely makes it easier. The bumper guard will be the hardest one to do. I just start on one side and work the way uh, to the other side. Uh, again, you want to make sure you see those grommets sti clearly sticking out as you work your way. Uh, the, grom the bumper guard's one of the harder ones because it, you're having to go in that kind of a half moon shape around the racket. Again, put some heat using the blow dryer on that. That's a really helpful tip. And you're just going to have to go grommet by grommet and just kind of rock back and forth, back and forth. I, I've seen some people who rest it on the, uh, the 12 o'clock position to give it a, uh, some support from the other side. I usually just uh, go grommet by grommet using the owl, rocking back and forth slightly, and uh, it usually goes in just fine. Again, you should usually hear a clicking at the grommets once they pop out. 
once you get that, the all grommets should be looking good. The outside of the racket should be smooth, and this racket is ready to be strung.